Hello, welcome back to Four More Minutes. I am Sam Bailey, the soul stir, stirring up your hearts and your minds for God. I want to thank you for joining today, and I appreciate all those who continue to join and share these messages. If you have not yet done so, please subscribe to The Soul Stir on YouTube, as this is the most effective way to share these messages, and you can be a part of putting inspiration, hope, and encouragement out into the world. Share this with about 25 people today. 25 people and you never know who will need this you never know who can be encouraged and blessed by this today i want to talk about the season of empathy i know a lot of people who are going through things maybe like some of you as well some of it seems micro you know on a small level just personal things in their lives question marks concerns little issues that could be worked out and through discussion and through processes and some on the macro level which are terminal illnesses, job loss, death, and things that can take a real strong dramatic effect in our lives. And whether they be great or whether they be small, they still are genuine concerns. And I think it's important for us to realize that empathy causes us to go uh, into a place where we're not just feeling sorry for the person, but we're able to feel with them. Uh, that's God-like compassion. God loves us. Uh, and he's gracious and merciful toward us in our time of need. Uh, and we don't have to do anything to make him love us more and to be concerned for us. Even somebody we don't like, he loves. You know, there reigns on the just as well as the unjust. Sometimes people are being blessed that we don't like or we don't care for, or we're not concerned for, because only God can judge and God judges the heart. And only God can judge with a righteous judgment. And so, uh, sympathy is I feel for you I'm sorry you're going through this and and I hate you have to deal with this and I hate to see you hurt and I, and I and granted there are things we have to go through by ourselves that nobody else can go through with us right you've got to walk the path alone some things you can only learn through your own experience of, of going through it heartache suffering disappointment and learning how to trust God through it all and then there are other times where you need somebody with you along the way to, to guide you, to help you, to, to experience uh, what you feel, empathy, to walk in your shoes, to look at it from your perspective and from your angle. Instead of saying, I feel sorry for you, how can I assist you? How can I help you? How can I comfort you? And there are different ways you can do that. Uh, and right now, I personally, like many of you know, people who have lost loved ones. And, and sometimes we don't always know what to say or what to do, but sometimes just a simple, I love you. I hurt with you. I feel with you. My heart breaks when you lose someone that you you lost. And and even empathy goes into when good things happen. I think we've limited empathy to bad things, death, disappointment, loss. But what about when something positive happens? Do you feel with me? Are you glad? Do you rejoice with me? Like the word says, weep with those that weep and rejoice with those that rejoice. It's easy to find somebody who can comfort you when you're down, but it's hard to find somebody who can celebrate with you when you're on top. That's the real challenge in life. That's when you can separate those who really care for you because you're more likely. If you can celebrate with me and empathize with me when I'm when I'm doing well or in a good season in my life, then I know you can go in with me through the dark places as well. So this is the season of empathy. Empathy is always in style. Compassion is. I've been talking a lot in my messages about moving from hostility to hospitality, being a host of the Spirit, God's Spirit within us, and truly being ambassadors for him and truly being examples of what it means to be spiritual. Spirituality is not an aspect of your life. It is the way of life for those of us who are believers and those of us who know that God lives in us. That's all I have for today. And if you can, please share this with someone else. And thank you. Have an outstanding day. And we'll see you next time right here on Four More Minutes. God bless.